So what happened to Spider Man? That's what a lot of people. That's why I just get see, get asked all the time. What happened? What happened to Spider Man? <laughs> how to how to trigger the Marvel's Avengers community in <laughs> two seconds? Midnight Suns launched today with symbiote Spider Man. Yes, it did. M- Go Miller. <laughs> I mean, it just seems like their license to create new Spider-Man content ended. Like, it, I mean, I think especially with how much people have asked for it over several months. I think it and they have because um, they have a very strict we don't announce anything policy, but um, they did let slip once or twice at various times. Like there are some skins that we don't have access to. You know what I mean? Like they're they've made clear there is a line and that line seems to be like this content for Spider-Man as outlined by their original Spider-Man deal. Um, uh, yeah, like it's interesting looking through Bucky. Bucky has no like NPC banter conversations with Spider-Man, mm-hmm. but he does have combat banter with Spider-Man. You know what I mean? So they don't have like new conversations. But if like Spider Man is like on the fire team, he goes down. Bucky has a line specific to Spider Man mm. about that kind of thing. Um, so there, there does seem to be some like, um, arguably arbitrary line in like what is content as it pertains to Spider Man that they cannot cross, unless they re up their deal. And I, I don't think that that's impossible. You know, they just have to pay up. But they are not going to do that, I don't think. But if they were ever to be compelled to do that, it would require a big upswell of people asking. So I've always said, if that's what you want, say it loud, say it proud, and maybe they'll pay for it. The the thing of it is, is that, and I've said this since day one, like, the symbiote Spider-Man skin is literally the number one most requested outfit for Spider-Man in every video game that has ever had Spider-Man, okay? Even with Spider-Man only being on one of their three platforms, there is a 0% chance they would not make it if they could. Because, money, (laughs) it would, like, literally be their highest-selling skin of all time in the first day, instantly. Okay, that's number one. Number two, it's a black suit with a white spider. It's pretty tough to, like, mess that up. I'm pretty sure I could use Microsoft Paint and make (laughs) the skin for them, okay? Like, literally, it's a black suit with a white spider. Like, maybe they put, like, a little bit of a spin on it or something because they like to do that. But let's be real. Like, it's not from a lack of wanting. They would do it in a heartbeat. I think Miller nails it. It's got to be licensing. Mm -hmm. I might have gotten a DM at one point for saying too much, but I've asked about it, and I did get the the sort of not-have-access-to-it vibe. So I'm just thinking it's exactly that. They fulfilled their contract with Sony, and they just aren't able... To, to do anymore because <laughs> trust me i guarantee you if they were pumping out spider-man skins people would buy them and they would be doing a whole lot better I mean, it, it just comes down to it just comes down to like the perceived um like the perception of how much they would make like a return on that investment to go out and like make another deal with sony um and for whatever reason they don't think it's worth it and maybe yeah. they're right. I don't maybe think they right. they looked that far ahead when they were negotiating for that original licensing agreement. Like that, that seems to be the thing for the game in general. Like it doesn't seem like anybody planned on year one of what what year two looks like, year three. If there's a year three, it just seems like year one launch. Oh, we're gonna have stuff after launch, but no one really understood what lo- uh, what a game as a service actually is supposed to be. And the original team clearly had vision of getting away from this project once it launched. And the team that's left behind is like, you're, you're just there. So there's no real vision. Nobody really knows how to steer the ship. There's a guy on the boat saying, oh, I drove a boat before, but he's just kind of messing with the controls. He's not really taking us anywhere. It's like that vibe. <laughs> And it feels like there was no real negotiation when it came to making that deal for Spider-Man because 
it clearly benefited Sony, but I'm not seeing the long-term benefits of adding a character like that, especially a, an exclusive character. You would think you would want certain, you know, securities when it comes to, you know, monetizing that character in the game long term. Like he's only on one platform. That's a handicap as it is. So it's like at the very least, give us the movie scans. It's you know, it it seems like they were delayed to coincide with the release of the movie, but you don't get the movie tie-in scans, which makes no sense. And then we gave you a few MCU scans, and now that's it. There is no takedowns. There is no emotes. There is nothing new coming for this character because nobody you know cared enough to think that far in advance during the negotiation process and it's like that just seems like the the running theme of the game like nobody thought of anything beyond hey let's make an avengers game well let's make a single player and halfway through making a single player well let's make it multiplayer does our engine work for that <laughs> we'll make it work for that and it's like that's, here we are you know it's just a lot of bad decisions and trying to make the best of it on the back end. And now you have people asking about a character that should have had all of this stuff ironed out well before release. And it's, it's unfortunate ultimately. Yeah. Cause even, even me, who's not, who's pointedly not spending money on the game would, would buy the black suit. <laughs> if, they, if they, if they announced it. I mean, did, like they cast like most of the post launch people in like 2019. Did you ever find voice lines for war machine? No. But I mean, like, that's not at all surprising to me. I mean, I've never found voice lines for She-Hulk. Doesn't mean they didn't do a bunch of sessions. No. You know, like, it is what it is. Like, I, I would be shocked to hear that they don't have finished audio for War Machine sitting around. Uh, they got finished audio for a couple characters sitting around that haven't been announced. I'll put it that way. Oh, and, and, and would those characters be, like, but would that be besides characters that we know of, like uh, yes. Captain Marvel? Rhymes yeah. with Pulverine. <laughs> <laughs> I took that line out of Deadpool, by the way. You should know that. R- rhymes, rhymes with Octor Bange. <laughs> Harlot. Harlot Stitch. <laughs> I don't think those ones, no. <laughs> no. Well, Captain Marvel, yes. But So what So what do you say the odds are that, that, that we see Avengers getting, a, getting content updates in 2024? If you had to guess, uh, zero percent chance. <laughs> I mean, hear hear me out. Hear me out. Like, I'm just being honest. Like, I've been wrong before. Nobody loves Miller being wrong more than Crystal Dynamics. You know what I mean? Like, now's your chance. Prove me wrong. Like, I would love for this game to continue. God, can you imagine? I'm like, oh, this game's dead. And then they come out and they announce Quake just to fuck with me. You know what I mean? Like, hooray. Specifically. Like, you know, like, I want I want this game to continue. It's good like. for me that it continues. It keeps my lights on. You know, like, I want the Avengers to keep going. They want Avengers to keep going to an extent. Like, it's good for all of us. So prove me wrong. The irony of your lights mm-hmm. on when Judge Juni is the only thing lighting your room. <laughs> no, I have the light on in my kitchen. I also have a kitchen light on. <laughs> Sorry, it was too good to pass that. No, it's you're correct. I, I turned it off on that monitor though. It was, it was very distracting. Perfectly I love perfect. me some Judy. What can I say? I, you can't. So you can't even make the meme. So you think? So you're saying there's a chance? Miller said no, zero. <laughs> I mean, like there is a chance. Like, I, I like I tweeted, and I stand by this. One of the reasons they're pissed about leaks is like you know if it's not announced, it can change. You know, like we don't like being beholden to that, and da da da. It's all a fluid situation. Mm. Okay, you know what I mean. Like it's true. Like it could change, and I hope that it does. But as far as I understand it, the current outlook is not good. <laughs> oh boy. You know, yeah. Oh, and I so... and frankly too, I'm not the only one saying that. It's not just people that I've spoken to either. There was like a, a podcast that I did a couple weeks ago and there was a few outlets that covered it that said yeah we've heard the same thing you know like it, it's it's not a secret um so i know you've um done some digging and saw work being done um on patrol mode um do you still see that in the future for 2023 and do you think free to play is still on the table at some point point? and what are your thoughts on that 
I no longer think free to play is on the table specifically because, and, and it, and it pains me to say that I think it's stupid, but like, I don't think that they would have an exit strategy. Like, like, like a clear, like, okay, like X, Y, Z, the end. I don't think they would have that in mind if free to play was in the cards because that is a wild card that could go amazingly for all they know. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's a new, it's a new uh, attempt at the game to sort of capture public interest. And if it succeeds, you know, to have one foot out the door already would be dumb. You know, like I, I don't think, I don't think it's in the cards anymore, which is, stupid and frankly too they've been talking about free to play behind closed doors since 2020 like i heard many many a time different ideas about it and what's been pitched (laughs) and what they you know like i think there's a lot that they could do with that and they know it but i mean for christ's sake we still don't have loadouts it's just a broken button sitting there like and and why because the ui is too expensive to make you know what i mean the ui like that uh they're gonna have to put like a purchase the campaign button on the title screen too expensive you know what i mean like that that's where we're at like join, it's the truth join in, pro- join in progress uh, uh yeah patrol mode and join in progress i don't know where they currently stand what i was hearing at a time when you know there were very lofty ambitions for where the game was going uh i heard yeah i'll full steam ahead um, I think it would make sense for Ultron to be associated with patrol mode. So seeing Ultron get picked up as well makes me think that, yeah, that could very well be what that is because we know patrol mode takes place in the future wastelands. That's their sort of MacGuffin to get Ultron up narrative wise. Makes sense to me. You know what I mean? Like, and, and they've already talked about like, uh, Brian mentioned, uh, villains in the plural mm-hmm. for like future wasteland. Um, I think it I think it only makes sense. And yes, I did hear like join in progress. They had like a functional version of it and it was getting dicked around with and, you know, didn't work perfectly. They had a lot of work to do, but I I heard that they were doing it. It was good. They were doing it. So fingers crossed. Frankly, if I look at like the legacy of marvel's avengers you know what i mean and you pick it up 10 years from now and like what is this like for it to have patrol mode and join in progress does a lot for like long-term sales of the title you know what i mean like like if they keep the license for like another two years after that to keep selling the game at least i don't know what they're planning on doing with that uh I don't know if they're just going to drop the license right away and then delist the game i don't know what the plans are i don't know but if they are going to continue selling the game for a while, patrol mode, by virtue of what it is, it's super replayable. You know what I mean? Like, that's the kind of thing that they want to, like, leave the game with. I'll put mm. it that way. 